guys. Today we are going to start studying birds' nest, and we are going to be following the engineering design process to build our very own bird's nest. So to get started with that, today I'm going to read you a story called Mama Built a Little Nest by Jennifer Ward, and we are going to make observations of the nest in the story. I would like you to make three observations. So what is what are three things that you notice about the nest in the story? And what are three things that you wonder? So questions that you have about the nest that you're going to hear about in the story. There's also a worksheet attached to this assignment that helps you um, take a closer look at one nest from the story. And I put together a slideshow of more pictures that you can find out more information and look at those nests in detail. So focus on the size of the nest that you want to study closer. Is it small like a tiny hummingbird's nest? Is it large like a bald eagle's nest? Or is it somewhere in between? Draw a picture of that nest that you want to look at closer and use some words to describe the nest. These words here, you can color them in to describe them. So you could use a highlighter or a crayon. And they say round, feathers, oval, twigs, brown, or mud. If those aren't good enough words for you to describe the nest that you want to study closer, just use your own words here, okay? So come up with some writing to describe the nest using some, some good details. Okay, the story is called Mama Built a Little Nest by Jennifer Ward. Mama built a little nest inside a sturdy trunk. She used her beak to tap, 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 the perfect place to bunk. Tree hole nests are also known as cavity nests. They're created by male and female woodpeckers. This one right here is called a pileated woodpecker. It's the largest in North America. Mama built a little nest, a cup so wee and snug, with walls of moss and roof of sky, a silky cobweb rug. And hummingbirds make cup the smallest cup-shaped nest. It uses a spider web so the little nest will stretch as the chicks grow. So I can notice right here on this page that hummingbirds use spider web and lichen and other really neat things um, to build their nests. So that could be something that you notice. But try to make your very own unique noticing, okay? Mama built a little nest. Well, actually she didn't. She found one that another made and then laid in it. Not all birds build nests. The cowbird Wida and Cuckoo find a nest built by another bird species. They lay their eggs in it and fly off, leaving their eggs in the care of the bird who built the nest. So now I have something that I'm wondering. I'm wondering if the uh, bird that built this nest comes back. Is that bird going to recognize that that is not her egg? It looks pretty different. And then if, if she does notice it, is, will she still raise the chick? as if it's her own? That is something I'm wondering, a couple things I'm wondering. Mama built a little nest. My daddy helped out too. They placed my egg upon his feet and that's where I hatched and grew. Right there. The emperor penguin uses a living nest, the father penguin. The father uses its beak to roll the mother's egg upon his feet quickly so it doesn't freeze and carefully so it doesn't break. There it stays buried under his tummy folds for about 60 days, warm and protected. Mama scraped a simple nest upon a craggy ledge. She tucked me safe within her wings until my time to fledge. Ah, fledge, I think we know that word. That's what it calls, what it's called when the eagles start to grow their flight feathers and get ready to practice flying. And the bald eagles are doing that right now in, their, in the bald eagle nest in Decora, Iowa. So these are falcons. They're also birds of prey, like an eagle, but they build a different nest. It's just a small one here. There's a fish in the talons there coming in. Certain birds, such as the falcon, create a nest called a scrape. 
on a high cliff ledge. The mother and father scrape away at the ledge, creating a small indentation. Daddy built a little nest, and then he built another, and another, and another, hoping to impress my mother. Like many wrens, a male cactus wren builds several dome-shaped nests to attract a female. If impressed, the female will choose one and then continue to add to its structure. Remaining nests may be used as resting places called roost by the father and may also serve as decoys to confuse predators. Can you imagine building your nest in a spiky cactus? You'd have to be very careful not to get poked. Mama built a little nest. She used her beak to sew a woven nest of silky grass, the perfect place to grow. Weaver birds create very detailed woven nests by sewing and weaving nesting materials together. They pull grasses and fiber over and under, around and through, using only their feet and their beak. Can you imagine trying to build a nest with your mouth and your feet? Let's see how good you do. Mama built a little nest by digging out a burrow. It was a hoot, our little home, a safe feathery furrow. The burrowing owl nest underground in a burrow nest. It can dig its own burrow or use an abandoned burrow created by a mammal. Look at that. They actually go underground to build their nest. What cool little owls those are. Mama built a little nest. She gathered twigs that float and placed them on the water to create a cozy boat. Grebes create a floating nest on the water and anchor it to water plants. Isn't that cool? Grebes are kind of like a duck. They're really neat birds. Mama built a little nest. She made it on the ground. A simple nest, not very soft, with pebbles smooth and round. Many shorebirds create scrape nests on the ground. Their eggs often have colors and patterns to help camouflage them with their environment. Can you find the eggs in this picture? They're pretty camouflage. Daddy built a little nest. Now don't gross out with spit. Who would have thought that spit would make the perfect place to sit? The swift, list, the swift lit makes an edible nest using tube-shaped saliva, which hardens in the air. Swift lit nests are used in bird's nest soup, a Chinese delicacy. Mmm, yum yum. How would you like some bird's nest soup? Mama built a sealed nest within an old tree hollow. My daddy left a little hole to pass her food to swallow. The hornbell makes a cavity nest with a tree hollow. With the female inside and the male outside, both birds use mud and droppings to seal the cavity. A small hole is left open, which the male uses to feed the female. She remains locked inside the nest to incubate her clutch. After the chicks have hatched, the female breaks out, helping the male feed and care for their young from the outside until the chicks are old enough to leave the nest. It kind of reminds me of eagles, not this nest, but just the mother and father both working together to feed the babies. Oh, speaking of eagles, Mama built a sturdy nest by stacking twigs up high, a breezy house upon a tree where talons blend with sky. The male and female bald eagle use build a stick nest called an airy, their nests are called an airy, by gathering and layering many sticks. Their nests are among the largest of all birds' nests, usually five to six feet in diameter and two to four feet high. Wow, that is a big, big bird's nest. Mama built a little nest entirely out of mud. No feathery down, no soft green plants, just fuddy, muddy crud. The male and female flamingo build a mound-shaped nest on the ground using mud, into which the female lays one egg. Just one. I wonder why. Have 
you have a nest, your very own, a place to rest your head with pillow soft and cozy thoughts. Your nest is called a bed. All right. I hope you enjoyed listening to that story, Mama Built a Little Nest. And I am looking forward to building nests with you this week. So stay tuned. Um, tomorrow we'll start the engineering design process and begin coming up with our very own bird's nest design. So remember, after you get done watching this video, go back through and pause and look at your favorite nest or view my slideshow and pick your favorite nest and draw it and write some observations, okay? So I want to know what you noticed, what you wondered, see your drawings, and see a description of the nest that you decided to draw. All right, see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.